Hey, it's Anthony D. Shit, we tapped in with LC Hancho TV. All right, what's the deal, F and N D, man? How you feeling right now, bro? Shit, I'm good. I'm having a bitch, homie. All right, so man, how how you been holding up through this whole pandemic, like with the coronavirus and shit? Yeah, shit, I still I've been working through it. All shit, I still just been putting putting everything together. Shit, just how a plan, just building the whole platform for the whole team, for my family, everything. Just doing it. You hear me? Have this shit like affected you in any way with your music, going to the studio, doing videos, have it really affected you in a way? Yeah, I can say in a way, cause you know what I'm saying, a lot of things closed down, you know what I'm saying, everything just ain't back to how it is, but eventually shit gonna be back to normal, but with studios and shit, shit smooth, though, everything smooth with that, it's, it's alright, I'm still pushing through it. Alright, so it's crazy cause the governor ending the face mask shit statewide, what's your, what's your intake on that shit right now? All right, so for the audience that's watching this right now, give them a little background of who you are and uh, how was it growing up for you? Shit, I'm from, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? I was, born, I was born in Tennessee, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, raised around, like, West Memphis type area. I moved around so many places, though, like, so shit. But, really, you know what it is, like, Section 8, you know what I'm saying? Like, every other project kid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like, I done moved around a lot of places, you know what I'm saying? So... It really like helped me out in different ways, you know what I'm saying? Just adapting to all these different cultures, you know what I'm saying? Different lifestyles, different places. But it ain't, it ain't. I can say it, it's rough, you know what I'm saying? We actually think about it and grow up and understand what's really going on. But as a kid and just living, you know what I'm saying? We never, we never thought about it. But shit, it was cool, man. It was cool. Everything ain't been cool, you guys. Ain't. So like living in Memphis at the time. When did you move to Texas? Texas when I was when I we really moved back and forth type shit but when we was babies though like my brother my other brother he moved when he was like two you know what I'm saying my mama had me I was in Memphis still and then we moved to Texas then we came back we moved back again so we've been down here like for like 10 years or something like that so we've been here though okay okay oh uh, so like growing up and going to school what what type of kid were you in school I was bad as fuck. <laughs> Nah, for real. Let me see what I know. I was bad. I ain't gonna lie. I was bad. Everybody know me. Everybody know me. Gonna tell you, I was in the hallways. I did what I really wanted to. I ain't even finished school, to be honest with you. Yeah. I dropped out of school. But just being a class clown. You know what I'm saying? Not understanding. Thinking I could do what I want to do all the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's just not the way. You feel what I'm saying? When it comes to school. But shit, at the end of the day, I'm gonna go. You feel what I'm saying? Fix all that shit. Yeah, so like, did you did you play any sports in school, high school, middle school? Yeah, 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 yeah. I played, I played sports. I played football, middle school. I played in high school, but I quit. You know what I'm saying? Like, ninth grade. Like, I stopped playing, like, middle school. I played, like, not in the middle school. I played in middle school, for sure. Because I've moved to, like, three different middle schools. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I played all the years. Okay, okay. And, you know, you say you didn't finish school. So how was life for you? Like when you like when did you you dropped out? Yeah, what, I dropped out. Like what grade? Tenth grade, going to eleven. Okay, okay. And how was life for you after that? It really got tough, cause like I said, I was young. I really didn't understand life. You know what I'm saying? It really, I didn't understand what really came with a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So like it felt like I let go of myself. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of stuff just became bad. You know what I'm saying? Everything like crumbled. You know what I mean? And I really had to understand what I was doing and everything that I was facing. But at the same time, it was my choices, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and everything, that, the choices that I was making, I didn't understand. And it kept running me in circles, running me in circles, running me in circles. You know what I'm saying? So when I finally understood it and I actually just learned everything, you know what I'm saying? Shit started going back into play and I started being able to do things and ask because like, I was able to do for myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just doing rope ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fucking my family over. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just doing yeah. fucked up shit. Just not knowing though, not understanding my whole lifestyle and what I put myself through. Cause like, 
I ain't gonna lie, I had opportunities to do different things, you know what I'm saying? And I actually like fucked up with myself, you know what I'm saying? So I had to fight that, you know what I'm saying? And face everything that I did, you know what I'm saying? That's, it was tough, I ain't gonna lie, it was tough, but shit, I all came out. So w w what challenges did you have to face? Like when you, when you dropped out of school and you had to really learn on your own, what were some challenges that you had to face? Thinking, thinking like, uh, you, you, you thinking like, uh, I can get all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? I can do all this stuff myself with nothing, like with no kind of understanding to it, not knowing different ways to do this shit like that. And it was really, it, like I said, it was hard because like, I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? I really didn't know. And it just, it just was hard, like it was hard to a bitch. I can't count, it was super hard because like, I just was trying to gain so much and I want so much for myself, but I keep doing all this wrong shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And how could you ever, you know what I'm saying? Get yeah. in all these things and want this much for yourself. And, you know what I'm saying? Hard. It's hard. It's just hard. All right, and uh, man, who who we got right here uh, next to you right now? Yeah, that's the best out of for me. Okay, you, you, you rapping too? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. You got some uh, projects in a way too? It's plenty things I could do, we could do it as well. Like, yeah. You know what I'm but it's all the little we put our minds at like this right now. Remember all of that, this no cap, remove our hats. Nigga, damn night, nigga, I'm chasing bags, got lazy, nigga, then I fell back. It's a hoe, damn, a nigga really just bounced back. Mad at myself, I ain't proud.